Good morning. In the Sefer Bamidbar, Pashat Korach, it talks about the mitzvah of Hala. The Pasuk says, Mirshito Yisotechem, the Trum Tumah LaHashem. The person has to give a Trumah, a sort of gift, from his dough, and that's the mitzvah of Hala. The Sefer Chinuch writes that the Kaddish Baruch Hu wanted us to be able to do a mitzvah every time we eat bread. So therefore he gave us the ability to go and give Hala and fulfill a mitzvah with our bread. And also he says that the, the Torah commands us to support the Kohanim. The Kohanim, in the, in the, when they live in Eretz Yisrael, they're supposed to not work the land. They're supposed to be busy serving Hashem, teaching Torah, and they're supposed to be supported by the community. So therefore, one of the ways we support them is giving hala. Now, the Gemara Misechini Da Mem Zayin says that today, the majority of the Jews do not live in Israel. They're all in Gola. Therefore, mitzvah hala today is dependent on the fact that all the Jews live in Israel. Therefore, it's going to be only Midr Rabbanan today. And interestingly, this is a mitzvah that's an agricultural mitzvah. It has to do with the ground, has to do with the earth. And still it applies even outside of Israel. The Harambam writes in Chod Bikurim, he writes that the, the Chachamim imposed the mitzvah of hala also outside of Israel in order that we should not forget the mitzvah of hala. That when we go back to Eretz Yisrael, we know the halachot, we know how to do the mitzvah of hala. How much hala, how much flour does a person have to bake? In order to go mi hayam chala, how much flour does, he, flour does he have to need in order to go and to mi hayam chala? So the Gemara Sechei Rovin Pegima discusses this, and the Gemara says the amount of dough that would fall in the wilderness in the midbar, however amount of dough, how much man that each person would get in the midbar in the desert, that's how much a person who makes a flour who has needs a, makes a dough out of that certain amount of flour is liable in is hayav to make a separate hala. How much is dough that would fall in the midbar? So the Pasuk tells us that they used to have an Omer. An Omer is a tenth of an Eifa. Eifa, the Chazal tell us, is going to come out to 72 log. 72 log is an Eifa, and the Torah says Omer is a tenth of an Eifa. Tenth of 72 log is 7.2 log. Rashi tells us how much is a log. Log is 43.2 Beitzim. I'm sorry, it's 6 Beitzim. So it's going to come out to conclusion, 7.2 log. Each one is 6 Beitzim. It's going to come out, 6 eggs, it's going to come out 43.2 eggs. 43.2 eggs is what Rashi says. Shmaran in Siman Shin Chavdalet in Yoradea, he writes that in his time they used to use dirham. That was the measurement they used to use in, 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 uh, in the Middle East at that time. So he says it's going to be 520 dirham. Ravadia Marino, Marino, Marana, Zichon, Rabcha, Ravadia Yosef, he says that today in our metric system or in uh, your kilograms or in grams, he says today it would be 1.56 kilograms to be Hayab in Hala with a bracha. 